You're staring at your screen. The price for that Vegas trip just jumped 15% in the last 10 minutes. You panic buy, convinced you almost missed out. But there was no sudden rush of bookings. The plane is still half empty. You weren't competing with other people. You were competing with an algorithm that knows exactly when you're about to cave. It's not reading your mouse movements, but it is reading your behavior, how often you search, how close you are to departure, and how long you hesitate before buying. How does it know your personal personal breaking point? And is this sophisticated pricing or a high-tech regulatory black hole? Here's what's really happening. For decades, airline revenue management was an artisanal craft. Human analysts would spend weeks, even months, analyzing historical booking patterns, trying to predict demand for a flight six months in the future. They'd create fare classes or buckets, stuffing a fixed number of seats into each one. You might have the Y-class bucket for full fare economy, the M-class bucket for 50% off, and so on. The system was based entirely on historical forecasting, and it was deeply flawed. Human analysts, even teams of them, simply couldn't process the hundreds of variables that actually influence bookings, competitor pricing, local events, weather, or a sudden surge in online searches. Their Excel models were slow, cumbersome, and often missed opportunities. Airlines were leaving millions of dollars on the table, either by selling seats too cheaply or by flying with empty ones they could have sold. This inefficient efficiency created a massive market opportunity. The problem wasn't just about optimizing seat allocation, it was about the fundamental model. The old question was, how many people will want this flight? The new revolutionary question is, what is the absolute maximum price this specific passenger will accept for this seat? This wasn't mere speculation. A tech company based in Houston, PROS Holdings, built the system that would redefine this old model. Their platform doesn't just forecast absolute abstract demand, it estimates what different types of passengers are willing to pay. The PROS AI flips the entire script. Instead of static buckets, it generates dynamic bid prices in real time. It processes massive amounts of booking and behavioral data to decide what price to show you right now. And its core logic is simple but ruthless. If the AI determines you are a high-value passenger, booking last minute, using a corporate account, or often paying for extras, it will charge you more. But here Here's the strategic masterstroke. The AI also identifies low-value, price-sensitive travelers. And if it forecasts that stronger demand is coming, that business travelers will book those same seats at three times the price next week, it will simply refuse to sell the seat to the bargain hunter today. It will tell a customer who is ready to pay, sorry, that fare is no longer available. Keeping the inventory open for a higher-paying passenger it predicts is just around the corner. This is what Hawaiian Airlines began implementing starting in 2021. They focused on elasticity forecasting and offer optimization using Pros's platform. The result? Improved pricing agility and stronger yields, especially in leisure markets. But to see the true competitive power of this AI, we have to look at Japan Airlines. In 2014, Japan Airlines went all-in on ProS. They didn't just test it, they rebuilt their group sales system around it. The results were documented and impressive. Automation replaced much of the manual pricing process. Human revenue managers shifted from making decisions to monitoring the AI's recommendations. The algorithm was now in charge. The revenue impact was immediate. Japan Airlines reported a three-fold increase in group sales revenue after adopting the system. By dynamically adjusting prices, undercutting rivals on some routes while extracting maximum value value on others, Japan Airlines dramatically improved its performance in key markets. Pro's case studies attribute substantial incremental revenue to this AI-driven overhaul. Think about that. This isn't just an efficiency tool, it's a competitive advantage. Japan Airlines was now using an algorithm that could simulate thousands of pricing scenarios in the time it took a human analyst to open a spreadsheet. They were outperforming competitors still stuck in the old world of fixed buckets and human guesswork. Work. So, what is this AI actually seeing? This is where the technology moves from brilliant to deeply unsettling. The Pro system, built on a Bayesian core, doesn't need to be told what to look for. Its neural nets learn from historical booking patterns, processing behavioral and demand signals to estimate willingness to pay. These signals can include booking history, timing, and urgency indicators. It creates a micro price for you. That $347 versus $298 isn't random. 
It's a calculated decision based on a data profile you didn't even know you had. This is what competing with algorithms truly means in the modern airline industry. The competitive landscape has fundamentally shifted from route networks and fleet efficiency to an algorithmic arms race. Airlines with pros like JAL and Hawaiian now hold a structural advantage. They can identify price-sensitive travelers and undercut competitors on off-peak routes to steal market share. Simultaneously, they can identify high-value travelers and extract more from them on premium routes, maximizing revenue. Delta, for example, has invested heavily in its own homegrown AI. Competitors using older systems or less sophisticated in-house tools are caught in a pincer movement. This creates a brutal feedback loop. The more airlines adopt advanced AI pricing platforms, the more pressure it puts on those who don't. To survive, they must buy a similar weapon. The market is shifting to a state of near-total AI-dependent pricing, where algorithms compete against other algorithms for your wallet. This algorithmic war is happening in almost total darkness. It operates in a vast regulatory gray zone. Regulators have begun to take notice. Earlier this year, the US Federal Trade Commission opened an inquiry into so-called surveillance pricing, examining whether companies use personal data and AI to vary prices among consumers. While it wasn't directed specifically at airlines or PROS, it highlights growing concern. Passengers still have zero transparency. There's no law forcing an airline to disclose why your ticket costs $34 more than the person next to you. This creates a fascinating legal question. Is this simply smart revenue management, the digital equivalent of surge pricing? Or is it algorithmic price discrimination, a high-tech, data-driven way to push each customer to their individual limit? Unlike predators, pricing, charging too little to crush a rival, which is regulated, charging different prices based on inferred willingness to pay faces, almost no oversight. The FTC is only beginning to ask questions, but the technology is already years ahead of the law, and it's spreading fast. The success of pros hasn't gone unnoticed. The company is expanding its willingness to pay engine into hotels, car rentals, and logistics. Leading hotel chains report 5-8% to increases in revenue per available room after adopting AI rate optimization. Rental car companies and even business-to-business -business giants like Cargill use similar dynamic pricing algorithms to optimize contracts. Analysts estimate the broader revenue management software market could reach tens of billions globally by the end of the decade. As AI-based pricing becomes standard practice, the ability to micro-price based on perceived value is becoming the baseline for competition. This new reality creates a stark list of winners and losers. The winners are obvious. First, Pros Holdings Inc. itself, whose stock rose about 20% between 2020 and 2024 as it became the arms dealer of the industry. Second, early adopter airlines like Japan Airlines and Hawaiian, reaping major efficiency gains. And third, business travelers with corporate contracts whose pre-negotiated rates protect them from the AI's most aggressive pricing. The losers are everyone else. Price-conscious leisure travelers are the primary targets, facing algorithms designed to identify their maximum pain point and charge it. Some AI tools have been linked to revenue uplifts of roughly 4-6% to for airlines. The other losers are human revenue management professionals, whose jobs have shifted from decision-making to system monitoring. But the biggest loser is transparency. The algorithm is a black box. The system is optimized purely for airline revenue, not passenger savings. Airlines call it personalization or tailored offers, but personalized pricing simply means each passenger pays the most they're willing to pay. This is the cold, brilliant, and ruthless logic of the algorithmic age. The question is no longer if this technology will take over, but what it means now that it already has. Is this the peak of free market efficiency, a system that perfectly allocates every seat for its optimal value? Or is it a high-tech cartel, an extractive tool that marks the end of transparent pricing and the beginning of a new war where the passenger is the only casualty? Click here to check out another one of our videos.